it's Dragon the Lonely Gamer. Today I have something special for you guys. Um, I have two tools that I bought from eBay and that uh, it used it to be good for uh, mold line removal. So for the G2 Mr. Hobby Cordless Polisher Pearl, we got three sanding thing, uh, papers for on the for our uh, cup, so we can remove the mold lines. Okay, going to test both of them out in this video. Um, the other one um, from the G2 uh, you just need to push it up it uses two AA batteries here it sets uh, where it, uh, the batteries need to go um, yeah you push it you can't go wrong there are uh, two uh, sides that you just click together the cup can be replaced um, you can buy this separately um, yeah you push the batteries in push to and play and it's working okay now for the uh, nail decorative um, you can screw it on cut off I mean um, it uses two AA batteries, AAA, -A -A, the smallest ones. You just need to um, look where it needs to be. It has you need to screw it on like so. You are a little click, and then you're ready to go. Um, what you have with the nail polisher um, There are many different bits in it for drilling, for sanding and, and lots of stuff um, We're going to test it out in this video which one is the best and if it is quicker than uh, a normal scraping tool from GW or something like that going to use the smallest one because of the little part I'm going to test it out today never used it before so this is the first time for me too um, just push it in you can pull it out um, yeah basically that's how it goes okay we were sanding um, on the Mr. Dingus Mr. Uh, G2 Mr. Hobby G2 and we're going to use 600 because I think 800 and 1000 is a little bit too much okay My scissors ready like so Now we push it out like so. Just put it on. Looking at the description. Okay. Some sort of fully, you can pull it off. There is, uh, as you can see, a protective case 
for it. Just pull it off and on the sanding paper, as you can see, you need to pull it off. It's also a protective case. It's mag not magnetic or something like that. Just need to pull it on and you're ready to go. Okay. It's as easy as, as that. Now we are going to clean a skull taker. I have lots of bits ready to use so we can start. First of all, we're going to use the sanding of uh, G Hobby Tools. See how it goes. Okay. Just need to decide. And what I can see is a clean. As you can see, I have a little dot on the tip. And now we're going to clean it. And it's clean. Okay. Now for the other part. Going to check it too. But we still need our hobby tool. Because of the smaller part, we can't go uh, everywhere. But what I can say about it is that it's really fast. You have to, uh, to look where you do it because you can uh, easily, like on your own model, go too heavily on removing the other parts of the model. Just a little quick tip. Um, Let's put it in for a few seconds and it's, it's, it's gone. The mode line is just really done. So yeah. It's pretty good. I definitely like it. I think it can be really fast. Um, don't use it another bit. What I think is you need to uh, put for a little control. Uh, your thumbs with it in your wisdom uh, and your wings your thumbs just clean the mouth line yeah this is definitely Quick. It's quicker than uh, this for two. Then put it to the side, just for the hill, for the um, small, small, small. Parts of the model. It's not that uh, great because you don't go and can't go with smaller parts of the model, 
and you will definitely need scraping too for the larger surfaces it can be really really fast so yeah definitely uh, happy with this too just need to uh, see that you're not uh, sweeping out all um, the other bits. Okay. So that's for this. Just clean it all off. As you can see. pretty things but uh, if you buy the, this uh, on eBay I definitely recommend uh, you to buy some sanding tools maybe you can make it on your own uh, auto sheets then you have enough um, but you need double uh, tape or something like that to stick it onto your tool uh, on the cup so okay that's for the G Tool Pro. Now for the other one, the nail polish. It is a little bit like a Dremel. So you can send all together. Like so, it can it can uh, definitely be in use. It's not that that uh, fast. So uh, yeah, it looks really good so far. That is something. I like this more than the than the G2 because you can go to smaller parts um, that the G2 does not can uh, go. I don't, don't know if you see it, but here there's a mod line. So we're going to remove it. You can use it in a variety of ways. At the back, at the sides, so that you can go everywhere. Yeah, it, it is definitely faster. I really like my tools now. Makes building models so much easier. Always do it. The tip that I, uh, that I can uh, give you if you buy this is um, definitely do it 
straight to you not uh, from you because then you can't uh, go wrong with it or in wrong places you have more control Definitely a good tool. And there you have it guys. It's a short video. This model was three parts and it's almost complete. Um, completely mold free um, because of these tools. Um, yeah, I definitely can recommend it. It, it's not like a Dremel, but this one it's a nail polisher. You can see I'm using it on my finger nail. And yeah, it's it's completely safe. Um, can I recommend it? Yes. Um, the only downside that I have seen with this tool is that it. It, it, it jumps, it, it's not that strong as you can see but if you handle it with care I think you can't go wrong there are uh, things that you can put your hands on like so, you can put it between your two thumbs like so and then your middle finger you can use the tool so you have straight like you can use it basically like an airbrush. Okay. And with this tool, yeah, you just put it on and it goes. Okay. That's about it. Um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, click on the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button. If you Want to ask me about something about these tools? Just put it in the comments, and uh, I will contact and and answer your all your questions. Okay. See you next time. Bye.